Hey guys, Terry here with Forest Farm Project. Uh, today we're here to talk about how you put grease into a grease fitting. And pretty simple process. People have been doing it as long as I've been around and a whole lot longer. But I see people insert this little ball in there and then they try to hold the grease gun to it while they're trying to pump with one hand and it keeps popping. Well, let me loosen it up a little bit. It keeps popping off. And they can't figure out why it won't stay on there. And so many of them don't realize you just turn this little doohickey right here and it, it grabs that ball and it's on there. So just to, you know, it's, it's there. And just to demonstrate that, I'm going to pop a little hole in this board right here and show you that it's actually really grabbing. So we're going to just insert this little grease fitting in there. Boy, that was a good fit. <laughs> Got lucky on that one. So, now, normally people would come up there and slide that thing on there, and they're having to hold it on there, and if they get the pump and it's popping around and it'll slide off. Most people don't realize, you just turn this down like that, and you can pull, I could break that board in two. It's on there, it's not coming off. Now I've got two hands, I can pump my grease gun all day long, and get what I need done and when I'm done spin that thing loose and kind of pull out on it and when it gets loose it pops right off you go to the next one pop it on there and it seems like some of them are a little tighter than others you might need to loosen a little bit extra pop it on there snug it down pump your grease and go I like this grease gun because you can do it one-handed and you could hold it on there if you needed to but there's no sense in it it, it will stay on there if you cr crank that thing down and uh, a lot of times you can't get grease to go into the fitting because it's not on there tight, it's real wobbly, where once you tighten it down and you've got it on there, uh, it's on there tight, there's not much room. That grease is going to be more likely to get forced into that greaser. So it's a simple little procedure, but it works. <laughs> I'm going to show you a close-up of what how this, this end works. But basically what it does is, you see this ball hitch right here. This is the same as that greaser. As you uh, crank this around, and clamp it down is pushing those metal tabs in and they grab that ball and then they're stuck on there and they won't come off you pump your grease in it and then when you're done you loosen it back up and boom they're off of there so let's let's go ahead and we're going to put this in the vise and i'm going to show you a close-up of that so in this close-up you can see that when you attach this grease gun to this fitting the fitting has this little shoulder all the way around so the grease gun slides over it and this area here it slides in there and you notice how these are kind of spread out right now and there's a gap there well when you screw this on there once you've placed it onto the fitting watch those little gaps close up and that's basically causing those things to pinch down around this once this is clamped down on the fitting your hands free you no longer have to hold this onto the fitting you can use your hands to work the grease gun or do whatever you need to do and then come back loosen it back up and it will pull off of that fitting again well i hope you guys found this video useful and if you like what you saw please give us the big thumbs up subscribe share with your friends and check back off and we've got a lot coming guys thanks for watching